I'm testing out a new microphone. I got a new lavalier microphone made by Shure. It's called the SM93. Now, this is not a new microphone. It's been around, but it's new to me, <laughs> so it's new to you. So I uh, decided I will give this a test again uh, in the car because it seems like every time I've driven in the car and recorded the low frequency rumble every time we run over some type of bump you know, I'll go over a bump right now ends up with very deep low frequency rumbling through a sound system that has a subwoofer so that's obviously not good so on some of my recordings uh, my videos I, I've rolled off the bass response but that makes the voice sound very thin so this new SM50, I'm sorry, SM93, I'm still used to the other model numbers, the SM93 has a bass roll off at 100 hertz, and that should help on some of the low frequency rumbling that we hear through like a subwoofer system. Now, this is a phantom powered lavalier microphone, so I'm recording this onto the Zoom uh, HN4 uh, recorder, and that has a 48 volt phantom powering through an XLR cable, which is a standard uh, microphone cable that uh, musicians would use, obviously. So it, it can't be plugged directly into a smartphone. The old microphone I was using was the Rode SmartLav Plus. Now, the sound quality of the microphone, I have no uh, qualms about. I think it actually sounds pretty good. Um, for an all self and contained unit that you can plug into your iPhone. But the issue I've had with it is that the app or the phone, something, uh, causes a little bit of jittering. So I could be talking and in the middle of my talking, it, it'll jitter my voice. And uh, that's of course not good audio. So that's why I decided I gotta change to something better, put it onto a standard recorder standard digital recorder like the Zoom. And the Zoom is made specifically for recording audio. It's not an app, it's a self-contained unit. And uh, that makes a big difference in my opinion. So I'm hoping that the sound quality of this microphone will actually work out. And um, we're running into a bit of traffic here on the highway. I'm heading towards my school where I teach photography and it's kind of a heavy traffic time period right now. So well, that's actually okay too. So we're, we're at a dead stop at this point. There we go. So this will give us a good idea of what the background noise sounds like when the car is actually not moving too much. Well, I guess we're moving now. <laughs> but um, road noise is a problem. And uh, the short mic uh, from other YouTube videos that I've watched and listened to sounded pretty good. Now, of course, you don't know if others were processing the audio tracks or not, but uh, they say they weren't, and, and it sounded good to me. The only thing that I don't really like about this microphone is the windscreen. It's just a big round ball. <laughs> it doesn't look so good, but um, it's supposed to cut down a lot of wind noise, so that should be a good thing. This microphone also is not a microphone that has uh, has the mic element on the top of the mic. It's actually a side address mic, meaning the element uh, actually points forward towards uh, towards the camera. But because it's an omnidirectional mic, it picks up sound all over the place. You just need to make sure that when you clip it onto the onto the clip itself, that that part of the microphone faces forward. So. One thing too that I noticed that the clip is is kind of a cheap plastic clip. It doesn't look like it will break, but it does look cheaper than you know an all metal clip. And it has its own little preamplifier. I'm gonna show you real quickly here. It's a really big monster thing, but this clip on the end here clips onto your belt and that makes it really nice. And it's a removable cable too. So overall build quality is a lot better. Now as far as the uh, cost, it was about $155 to buy this microphone. And again, you do need an audio recorder that does have phantom powering. Without phantom powering, this microphone won't run. But luckily for me, my recorder does have 48 volt phantom powering. So uh, I'm able to use the microphone. And usually these mics are a lot better when it has um, additional voltage to run it. 
and uh, we'll we'll see if the uh, sound quality, which always sounds funny too. You're not seeing anything. If you're listening. We'll hear if the sound quality is better or not. So, anyways, I just wanted to bring you along and test this out and uh, let you hear it as well. If you like these videos, go ahead and hit the like button. Definitely subscribe to the channel because that does help me out and it'll give you indications if you hit the little bell icon as to when um, new videos come out. All right. The little dinging you might hear in the background is uh, I'm getting messages coming through the Apple CarPlay of my car. So I'll check those out after we sign off. But I'll see you guys next time.